2 Samuel 6 records the occasion when David moved the Ark of the Covenant from Kiriath Jarim to Jerusalem after having conquered the city and making it his capital. King David decided to bring the Ark of the Covenant from Kiriath Jarim to Jerusalem, a distance of about 10 miles. And he had a new ox car built to carry it, a big parade with dancing, celebrating, and marching band. As they traveled toward Jerusalem, the oxen stumbled. Uzath, who was walking next to the car, pulled out his hands to steady the ark from falling. But Yahweh, God, got angry at Uzath and instantly killed him. David angry at God. Maybe you are a little bit dismayed as well. Maybe some of you are asking this morning, was God being unfair to Uzzah? The answer is no. There are a number of lessons from this record which we can learn. Here are some of them. When God gives men a pattern, he expects men to follow that pattern. God had given Israel a pattern for transporting the Ark of the Covenant. The question is, who should have carried the Ark and, and how? According to Numbers 7 verse 9, the Ark was to be carried with the poles, not on a cart, even in a new car, never on a wagon, in a specific way as commanded by God, on their shoulder, in close proximity. God instruction, the ark was only to be transported by consecrated Levites. The ark was to be carried only upon the Levites' shoulders. For whatever reason, the ark was not transported according to the Bible pattern. Perhaps because the ark had been away from the tabernacle for so long, people were ignored the law. Lesson from the death of Uzzah. Uzzah, delusion and good intention. Hear me good this morning. God is sending a warning signal here to all people of all times that he is not a God to play with. Hebrew 12.29 tells us our God is a consuming fire. We must maintain reverence. Often God is patient and does not punish instantly, but eventually he may need to take drastic measures to get our attention, to get their attention. Let's analyze this. Let's put this into context. Hear me good this morning. If Uzzah's sin had been allowed to go unpunished, his example might have caused many other sin as well. Uzzah, death was a clear warning to others that God is a righteous God who demand strict obedience. Uzzah was therefore a type of all of us who with good intention lesson from the death of Uzzah. Not everything you keep from falling in the church. Not everything you see happening bad in the church. You want to step in to solve the problem. I'm here to remind you church is God business. Not your business. And not your responsibility. We must take a lesson. We must learn. There are things that people are offering you. There are things that at times you might see that need to be done in the church. But if you are not the chosen one, the one that God wants to do, the one that were ordained, you should not get involved. You must stay away. Most of the time we sitting in church just because the, the position has been vacant for too long. So we think that we have the right to be in that position just because your pastor, your dad is a 
pastor, your, your grandpa is the founder or your uncle is the deacons of the church, you think you have the right to take the position. Hear me good. I'm here to remind you learn from Uzzah's mistake. God is not a respecter of a person, but he is a respecter of principle. You can do the right things the wrong way. I hope you are listening to me this morning. You can do the right thing the wrong way. And that's what we see happening in our churches today. We are been doing things we think is the right way, but it is the wrong way. It does not mean because you are in charge of the church, you can do anything. Does not mean because they assigned you into a position that was not assigned by God. They select you, they appoint you to a position that that you were not assigned by God. That mean give you that that gives you the right to do it. You have to make sure that the position was assigned by God before you take it. You can do the right things the wrong way. Sin committed with good intention are still punishable by God. Yes, you want to help. Yes, you think you're the, you're the right person. Good intention, good intention, but they are still punishable by God. Sin committed with good intention are still punishable by God. Many people truly believe that Deeds committed with good, honest, and sincere heart do not jeopardize a man's soul. Well, the scripture, this passage showed us we must be very careful with God. God says what he means and he means what he says. God says God will honor those who honor him. Take note. God will honor those who honor him. Him. Don't just honor a man. Don't just elevate a pastor over God. Command the Bible must be the authority. Failure to follow God's divine pattern is a sign of irreverence. Don't be an Uzaf and having people talking about you for a thousands of years to come.